Hey, wait, I've got an idea. Let's get out in the great outdoors. Let's explore matter along the banks of the Rogue River. And so we've already learned some things about matter. We've learned that matter is anything that takes up space, that's volume, and has mass. So what about the light energy coming from the sun? Do you see the sun up there in the sky? Hey, wait, where's the sun? Oh, it's a really cloudy day. <laughs> Can't see the sun, but the light is still coming to us. What about the light and heat from the sun? Is that matter? Hmm, I wonder. Think about it. Hey, wait a minute. The heat and light that comes from our sun is actually energy. Remember, if it's matter, it takes up space and it has mass. Mass is how much matter is in something. So sunlight, heat, and sound are all forms of energy. If it's energy, it's not matter. And if it's matter, it's not energy. Let's explore the matter along the Rogue River here. I can hear it, I can hear it, I can hear the river. So we've learned that this matter is composed of small tiny particles, way too small to see it with our naked eyes. So let's explore how this matter takes different forms or states. Let's look at the three states of matter and how we find them here in the great outdoors. We'll look at the three common ones, a solid, a liquid, and a gas. Let's explore those in nature. Here we go. Hey, check this out. There must have been some insects under the bark of this tree and it made these really cool marks. Maybe that's why the tree died. This is a log. It's a piece of dead wood. What do you think? It has its own shape. It has its own volume. Is it a solid, liquid, or a gas? Of course, it's a solid. Wood is a solid, especially if it's dead. Hey, let's think about that. Oh, look at this tree. This is a red cedar. It's a living tree. What about a living tree? Solid, liquid, or a gas? Hmm, I wonder. These needles have their own shape. They smell nice. That's a property of matter. Very interesting, living things. Are living things solids, liquids, or gases? Here I am standing in the Rogue River. The water flowing in this river is of course a liquid. Water is the most common liquid that we have around here. And of course, our bodies are made mostly of water. What about the rocks? In the, in the river. Rocks are certainly a form of solid. Rocks are solids, they have their own shape, they cannot be easily changed, and they have their own volume. What about other things in my surroundings right here? What about the sand along the banks of the river? Is this sand a solid, liquid, or is it a gas? When I squeeze and hold it, it has its own shape. So sand is an example of a solid. Sand is a solid substance that we find on the earth. Awesome. Friends, it's pretty easy to find those solids here in nature. Of course, rocks and sand, that metal table, the paved path I'm walking on, those are all solids. They have their own shape and they have a definite volume. But think about liquids. Besides water, what other liquids exist out here in nature? What about it? Friends, what about these live trees? There are many trees here along the Rogue River. There are many live plants. Even though this tree has no leaves, it's still a living organism. It's still a, a living thing. Think about it. Did you know plants are between 80 to 90% water? So if you look at a whole tree like this, it's hard to say if it's a solid, liquid, or a gas, because in reality, it's all free. Think about it. Living things contain either sap or blood or some kind of fluids. That's a liquid. They also have gases in them. Trees are exchanging gases all the time, usually through their leaves, but even now they are. Same way with us humans. We as animals are breathing in through our lungs, we're taking in gases. 
And some of those gases go into our body. So living things are really a mixture of all three, solids, liquids, and gases. All of these trees along this trail, trees, shrubs, any living plant is a combination of solid and liquid material. And there's even gases trapped inside, even plants. Did you hear that mallard duck? <laughs> mallard ducks are organisms, they're birds, of course. And birds have bones. Bones are solids. But blood is a liquid. So is urine. Think about it. Living things are all three states of matter. Solids, liquids, and gases. It depends on what part you're talking about, I guess. Wow, that blows my mind. So liquids in nature include more than just water. Every animal that we see has some kind of fluid inside it, some type of blood. Blood is a liquid. So is urine. Urine is also a liquid that most living things have at some time or another. Think about it, friends. Living things contain solids, liquids, and gases. Whoa, pretty cool. Okay, okay, so let's talk about it. We've talked about solids, we've talked about liquids. Let's talk about gas. That's right, gases. Hey, it's hard to define gases because they're all around us. They're in particles so small that we can't even really see them. What, you don't believe me? I'm going to take this bag and I'm gonna capture some of the gases that are in the air and I'm gonna close it up. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, check it out. I captured air in this bag and it's taking up space, look at it. The air is actually taking up space inside of the bag. Do you know the bag would actually weigh a little tiny bit more? It would have more mass if I weighed it now with air inside it. Air has mass and air takes up space. But is air just one thing? No, air is a mixture of different gases. Now we've learned a little bit about it, but air is composed mostly of nitrogen, oxygen, and some gas called argon. Those are three elements that make up this mixture we call air. Amazing. So the air trapped in this bag is about 21% oxygen. It's about 78% nitrogen. That doesn't leave a whole lot. It's about 1% argon. Then it's also a bunch of trace gases too. All of these gases are in the air we breathe. Gases like Neon, helium, carbon dioxide, methane, krypton, hydrogen. Those are all trace gases that are found in this mixture of air that we breathe. Wow, pretty cool. Air takes up space and we have all kinds of different gases around us. Wow, check out these mallard ducks. It's a drake and a hen. The male with the green head is called the drake, and the female's the hen. They're dipping their heads underwater looking for food. Friends, these ducks, again, are a combination of solids, liquids, and gases. 